Okay, so um, in the bell rang in class, we were just about to start the prefixes of the metric system. So we said it doesn't matter what your base unit is. It might be a meter, it might be a gram, it might be um, a liter, it might be a watt, it might be hertz. But no matter what the base unit is, in this case I'm using one a meter, the prefixes are going to be the same. So back when the metric system was brought in, all the, there was a prefix for every times 10, but we don't use all of them anymore, so them, some of them have just ceased to exist. So if we go up first, the first one, which you don't see very often, is a deca. Its abbreviation is DA, and so for a meter, and maybe this is why it's not used very often, because it's a DAM, and that would be equal to 1 times 10 to the 1 meters. In other words, to 10 meters. Up from deca, deca is called a hecto. And the only place I've ever seen this is with land. And when we talk about acres or hectares, it comes from this. Its abbreviation is an H. And 1 hectometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the 2 meters. In other words, it's equal to 100 meters. Okay, uh, now the next one up you do know. It's kilo. Okay, and a kilo is a small k, and one kilometer is equal to 1 times 10 to the 3 meters. In other words, to 1,000 meters. Up after kilo, uh, would be times 10 to the 4, but it doesn't exist anymore. Times 10 to the 5, nope, never see it. The next one we see is times 10 to the 6, which is a mega. And you would have heard of mega uh, in connection to computers. Back when computers first came out, they were in like kilohertz and kilobytes and megabytes. And if you were getting something in a megabyte with correct computers, it was great. If you are offered a computer these days uh, with a megabyte, don't take it. Mega is a capital M, so one megameter would be a capital M, a small m, and it's equal to one times 10 to the six meters. In other words, it's equal to a million meters. Times 10 to the seventh doesn't exist anymore. Times 10 to the eighth doesn't exist anymore, but times 10 to the ninth does. It's the next one, and again, you would have heard of it. It's giga, capital G, and one gigameter is equal to one times 10 to the ninth meters. Giga, again, with computers. You, now um, it would be gigabytes, but even better than a gigabyte would be a tera, a terabyte, computer that has terabytes. Capital T and one terameter, in this case, is equal to 1 times 10 to the 12th meters. Now there are a whole bunch of others. Sorry, I should have had the sheet out so I could show you. But I don't. Um, they do keep going up. So on the sheet that I gave you in the packet from the other day, you'll see the ones we did, the base unit, hec deca, hecto, kilo, da, da, da. And we stopped at times 10 to the 12th. But then there's others. There's Peta and Eta, Zeta, Zoda, going all the way up to the 24th. Okay? Um, uh, on your sheet, there's a typo. And with Terra, and then in here, it's T-E-T-R-A. Take that T out. I must have been thinking of playing Tetris or something when I was typing it. Okay? So that's the, uh, the things that are bigger than a meter. Now it's time to look at the things that are less than a meter. And I'm going to stop this video and upload it in the next video, which I already have done at this point. We'll do all the lower ones, okay? So that's where we'll pick up. All right, so switch to the next video, please.